One of the most famous decision problems is the traveling salesperson problem. In the traveling salesperson problem, we have n cities and a pairwise distance function duv, which gives us the distance between any pair of cities u and v. The question is whether there is a tour that visits each city and then returns to the starting city such that the total length of the tour is at most capital D. This is a basic problem that in various variants appears naturally in areas like logistics and so on. And so we would like to know whether it's possible to answer a question of this type efficiently. We can relate the traveling salesperson problem to a problem we've already discussed and that is Hamiltonian cycle. So given a graph, does there exist a simple cycle containing every vertex of the graph? I claim that Hamiltonian cycle polynomial time car produces to TSP. The proof is rather simple. So in Hamiltonian cycle we have a graph in the traveling salesperson problem we have these cities. We can interpret these cities as vertices and then connect two cities by an edge and then have an edge length that corresponds to the distance between those cities. So in the TSP we would have a complete weighted graph whereas in Hamiltonian cycle we just have a not necessarily complete unweighted graph. But at least both of those are graphs, so there's some hope to relate these two problems to one another. So if we have an input for Hamiltonian cycle, we have this unweighted, undirected graph, G. Then what we do is we create n cities, where n is the size of the vertex set of the graph G. And we create distances between these cities as follows. We say that two cities, u and v, have distance 1 if the edge, uv, exists in this graph g. And otherwise, we say that the two cities, u and v, have distance infinity, or some very large number. We are now asking whether this constructed set of n cities with this distance function, whether there exists a tour in this that has length at most n. Again, n is the size of the vertex set of the graph G. And I claim that this is the case if and only if the graph G is Hamiltonian, so if G had a Hamiltonian cycle. So let's argue that this is indeed the case. First, if G has a Hamiltonian cycle, then we can simply take that cycle as the tour through our n cities. And clearly, because in the cycle in G, we only traverse edges that actually exist, for each such edge, we would go to one city to the next, and that would cost us 1, because the distance between these cities would be 1. So we would never actually go from one city to the next that has this infinite distance. And therefore the total cost of this tour is n, because we have to go through n cities, so we will go through n edges, and each edge will cost us 1 essentially. So to go from one city to the next has a cost of 1, we do this n times, so that's a cost of n in total. On the other hand, if we have a tour that visits all these n cities using a cost of n, then clearly we've never went from one city to the next that had a distance of infinity. And therefore we know that when we go from one city u to one city v, those two corresponding vertices are actually connected in the graph, in the graph g, and therefore can be taken on a Hamiltonian cycle. So the tour we have in our TSP instance through the n cities corresponds to the Hamiltonian cycle in the original graph G. So this is a valid reduction. We can slightly improve this reduction in fact 
so this TSP instance is a little bit strange because some cities have distance one and then other cities have distance infinity or at least a very large distance. What is a bit nicer is we can actually replace uh, this infinity value by uh, the number two. So some cities have distance one from one another and then other cities have the distance two from one another it's easy to check that the reduction still works with these values. The advantage, in some sense, of using 1 and 2 as the distances between the cities and avoiding these very large distances is that now what we constructed satisfies the triangle inequality. The triangle inequality says that if we go from some city u to some city v, then this distance should be no larger than the distance we would get if we take a detour. So the distance between u and v should be no larger than the distance between u and some other city w and the distance between w and v. If the distances you use are only distance 1 and 2, then automatically what you construct satisfies this very natural triangle inequality. And what we get from this is that Hamiltonian cycle doesn't just polynomial type carp reduced to TSP, it polynomial time carp reduces to something called the metric TSP. So the metric TSP is just the same as TSP except that we also require that the distance function satisfies the triangle inequality.